a note on the Oscars. Um, one today before they they distribute them tonight, and I just noted down that tomorrow I'll need to come back again with a note. It's after, before and after. Um, so I had a few notes here on Moonlight. I'm not sure. Moonlight uh, made the headlines, uh, at least where I saw, uh, where, where I watched, uh, I guess online a few times they were talking about it again. Um, and then BBC had on the crawl at the bottom, it won the Spirits Awards uh, last night, yesterday, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure if I had a note dedicated to it because um, the story didn't really appeal to me. I I know it was uh, something with a homosexual loving a, a, a man, so uh, I'm I'm not uh, too interested in in this aspect. Uh, without being, I I hope I can say definitely without being in any measure homophobe. It's just that. Uh, I, I, I like quite often to identify with the uh, uh, male lead or whatever, if it's a romantic comedy, if it's a, an action movie, or which I seldom see. But in this situation, I can't. So, uh, plus, it was, I remember that, that mother who was um, uh, uh, an addict and she, she didn't look appealing or well, and she. she she was uh, abusing that child, I, I think, and uh, he's kicked around, beaten, and a bit negative. And a shallow, superficial view. But passing over this, this lava band, I wasn't too happy with that too, musical. Well, I'm, I'm not thrilled. Uh, but I, I, I can see it has arguments that there are. It has qualities and positive aspects, so there you go. It's the, also the issue of it's it's too talked about, it's too uh, acclaimed. Everybody is, is in awe and uh, there's so many prizes and, like they say, enough already, maybe. Uh, Axel Rich, violent, dramatic, good. I'm not again taken aback by the um, actor in the lead role, but uh, Mel Gibson did a good job, even if it's controversial. I was watching some of the uh, the awards with Ricky Gervais mocking him and his uh, explanation for anything that goes wrong. He's blaming Jewish people and when he's drunk he, he, he lost it and when he was drunk. But I think he had to pay for it. He was out in the woods for a long time. Good job on Axel Rich. Not my favorite though. I think I like the rival more, Amy Adams. Uh, they said it's, it's a pity she was passed by for this uh, long, she didn't get a nomination. The film was interesting, I liked it. I think more than quite a few of the, of the others. I also like Hidden Figures. It's not, uh, uh, she knows this, but it's a good thing. It's a good movie. Um, Elle. Uh, Isabelle Huppert, if you ask me, I would like her to get the uh, prize. Manchester by the Sea, that's not bad, but again, it's not um, summers of a, uh, Smiles of a Summer Night. I just saw Bergman now, or Silence, or The Seventh Seal, or Through a Glass Darkly. It's not Kubrick, it's not The Passion of Joan of Arc. Uh, and Casey Affleck seems a bit odd. He, I wouldn't give it to him, but to whom? Uh, let me think, who's there nominated? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite in, in, in the male category. Um, Hugh Grant, I like. I, I like also Forrest Foster Jennings. And if it's not Isabel Perth, like they joke, uh, I'd rather have it have, have it uh, given to Mary Strip 
because maybe she would say something about Trump to have this guy taken down again. Um, and to end with, Tony Edmund is my favorite. I think that's the best film I've, I've seen last year. Film in large part here with Romanian actors and a wonderful, wonderful uh, Austrian in the lead role. Uh, the, the actress I wasn't so keen on, but uh, the actor did a wonderful job, Tony M. I understand uh, Jack Nicholson is ready to, to play Tony Edmund in a remake.